Howdy, 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 folks. Welcome back to X-Ray Talker Productions. Now, on the Facebook page a while back, I uh, promised that I would do a review of the first three episodes of Fear the Walking Dead, and uh, this is going to be that. Now, uh, I'm aware I'm a bit late here, as is, it is Monday the 21st. The last, the fourth episode of The Walking Dead premiere was on last night, but I'm not going to catch that until next week, because the Emmys were on, and I like the Emmys! Now, um, alright, well, basically... All right, here's how I feel about The Walking Dead, or Fear the Walking Dead. All right, the first episode was a 90-minute premiere, very much like the original Walking Dead's 90-minute premiere. Now, at first, everything seems kind of cool. This in the movie, uh, the show opens up in a church. All right, we got some real badass, you know, gnarly-looking scenery in the background. You know, in the background, you know, it's a it's a creepy drug den, basically. Our main character seems to be more or less a drug addict. And he has seen a uh, girl he was recently with, uh, zombified, and he is and she is eating people. Alright, that is pretty cool. We then uh, go through a whole bunch of other stuff. We are introduced to several characters, a lot more teenage or, or, or younger characters than we're used to on the regular Walking Dead. I'm going to refer to it as Vanilla Walking Dead, just to keep it simple. Alright, we've got... You know, we got a uh, another character who's the the mother of the drug addict, who almost seems who seems like she is going to be the more or less sharing the main character spotlight with the druggie. All right, she makes very she seems the most intelligent. She's probably one of the most intelligent characters we've had on either any Walking Dead series so far. We, we, you know, because the series series the series has some problems with women characters and African American characters as well. You know, a lot of the times they come off as either Lori or Andrea, who just are hated by the fans for for doing just stupid, unrealistic things. But she seems a lot more intelligent. What I didn't like about this premiere was it was very, very repetitive. It did not need to be 90 minutes. They A lot of that time feels like, you know, like here's an example of what happens, right? All right, the show opens up in that church, all right? Well, later on, the, the stepdad and, and, and the stepdad goes to the church. Ah, uh, nothing really happens. Everything's all bloody. All right, and then l later on, the dad or the stepdad and the mom go back to the church again, and it's almost the exact same situation where we really see nothing. All right, near the end of the episode. All right, we go in this kind of a river e canal that's in L.A. I can never remember what it's called. All right, we go there. All right, well, a whole bunch of stuff happens. Cool, cool. Sh character gets shot. Guy runs away, and then we drive back to that same location again. Mmm. Very repetitious. Alright, the original Walking Dead pilot felt like a legitimate movie because it was shot like a legitimate movie. The entire first season of that show was only six episodes because they weren't sure whether or not they were going to get picked up. So, they went ahead and threw every buck they could into that 90-minute premiere and those, rest of, and those rest of those five episodes, and we got a pretty damn good series. Alright? With this, it just feels like they're trying to add on time to it, just for the hell of it. It's a bit of a shame, because there, there could have been a lot of cool stuff with this premiere. I didn't hate it, but it was very repetitious. With less actual zombie action happening in this first episode, it doesn't... It hurt it a little bit, you know? Not having too much zombie interaction in the first episode of the pilot made us want to see where they were going. We already know that the zombies exist. We know we know how they react. We know how the, how the virus is spread. We know everything already. They didn't need to slowly build it this way. Second episode. Things got a little bit better. All right, we got a little bit more writing, a little bit more zombie action, and it was really good. You know, it was better. It still had some of those problems, and one of the char and characters continuously saying, "Oh, we're gonna go out to the desert. We're gonna go out to the desert. We need to get there now." And then immediately stopping and saying, "Oh crap, we can't do it because of this, 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 and this," which is a recurring thing that happens also in the third episode where they say, "Oh, we're gonna go to this desert," and then they just get stopped by the government, so we're not going to any desert. It's like just d stop saying you're gonna go if you're not gonna go. All right, this is. This is television. This is a show and not tell type of uh, of type of entertainment. All right. Um. All right. But I did like the third episode. The third episode so far for me has been what the heck is that? 
has been the best. All right, the writing stuff in the beginning of the season of, of the of the episode was chilling. That was the kind of stuff I was waiting for with this show. All right, the world going to shit, people going insane, and zombies just munching on people. It was it was, it was almost more terrifying because the people didn't even seem to give a shit that the zombies were sitting there just chomping on them as it was going on. All you right, know, police are coming in like an, like the army. Uh, there were a lot more better things, and we got lots more. In, of what I was expecting from the show. Well, I think that's pretty much it. You know, I've got a lot, this is me, you know, I've got a love for the Vanilla Walking Dead. All right, it is become what, it is one of my favorite shows of all time. This show hopefully will improve. It already has subtly improved. And, you know, I feel like I'm bitching about it quite a bit, but it actually is still really good. It's on AMC, so it's really high quality. It's shot really well. It just, it needs to quit with this somewhat repetitious nature. Because repetition is one of the issues a lot of people have with Vanilla Walking Dead. Them lots of walking around and things just getting worse and worse. Like that kind of thing. All right? It, I, it, this show needs to be progressively different. Well, all right, I'm going to let you go. Thank you for listening. And uh, stay tuned. Probably, we'll probably do a review on the season finale. All right, bye.